In this class, we'll discuss about how to handle credentials in Jenkins. So handling credentials is most crucial, most important because credential management is always been an important role in all organization, in all applications, whenever you are working, right? So whenever you go for any application setup, in Jenkins, that time you have to do and create the credentials and set up and store globally in the Jenkins. Let's see. So in Jenkins, the credentials can be used by pipeline projects to interact with the third party applications like the GitHub, Tomcat or JFrog, right? Those are applications which you need to interact with the third party applications. You have to set up the credentials in Jenkins. So what is the credential stored in Jenkins? Now, credentials stored in Jenkins can be used for anywhere applicable, applicable throughout Jenkins that is global credentials. So you have to set up the global credentials which can be used anywhere which is applicable, which can be used anywhere and by specific pipeline project or item. So we can create a specific pipeline or specific project where you can use the credentials. Also by a specific Jenkins user, like we created the users in our classes, right? I showed you how to create a user. You can also specify how the users can use the particular credentials. To maximize security, credentials configured in Jenkins are stored in an encrypted form of form on the controller Jenkins instance. So what is the controller Jenkins instance? Where the Jenkins is installed, the master, the Jenkins master, that is called Jenkins controller, the controller machine, right? Encrypted by Jenkins instance ID and are only handled in pipeline projects via credentials ID. Now, Jenkins can store the following types of credentials. You need to see how the Jenkins stored the credentials. Could be the secret text, as secret text, a token such as an API token, okay? That is the GitHub, like if you want to say that the GitHub access personal uh, token, personal access token, that PAT, right? You would have seen that how we can create the PAT, personal access token in GitHub. If you want to store those as a secret text, you can store an username password, which could be handled as separate components or as a colon separated string in the format, the username, colon, password. Or as a secret file, which is essentially secret content in a file or SSH username with private key, an SSH public or private key pair or a certificate like the PKCS uh, has 12 certificate file and optional passwords or anything you want to store a certificate or the Docker host certificate authentication credentials. There are many things which you can store in the Jenkins credential management. Okay. Now let's go ahead and do the setups, how we'll do the setup in Jenkins. So if I go here to the Jenkins, go to the, uh, let me come out from this user and log in as uh, the admin user. Okay. Now what you can do, go to the manage Jenkins. Now what you can do in the manage Jenkins, we have to go to the manage credential options here, right? Manage credentials, click on this. And you can see here, we have many credentials available here. I have few credentials and you can see here the credentials IDs. I was just showing you by using this credential ID, you can automate the things in the Jenkins pipeline. 
okay whenever you are going to uh, we are going to work on the jenkins pipeline we have to use this credential id instead of the name so we'll add this credential id and working so how will add this credentials how will add this credentials you can see here i have tomcat staging server credential i have ansible jenkins server I have um, SSH connection with Ansible server. I have Tomcat, some application server, and I have GitHub server and all, right? Now, let me go ahead and create and store the credentials. So if you just you click on this domain here, you can see here, you can click on this add credentials, okay? Don't have to do, you have to simply click on this add credentials. Anywhere, anywhere, you just go here, anywhere, or you can come here add credentials okay now when you click on this add credentials it will give us the new credentials and you have to select the kind what kind of credentials you want to add as i was showing you just before either we can add the certificate the secret file secret text username with password github app and all these things ssh name with private key all these things right now let's go with username and with password select and let's make it as the scope as global scope as global so it can be used by jenkins nodes items all child items etc if you want to use by system the jenkins and nodes only will be used this one so let's select it as global give the username what is the username you want to add support I'll add this username as suppose I'm going to create for Tomcat server. Tomcat, I'll just give um, like uh, commercial. Tomcat commercial. Okay, Tomcat com. And then suppose the username and the password. I, I can give anything. The password here. Okay. So if you want the username to be treated as secret, you can use this one so that it will hide it whenever you create the credentials ID, okay? If you want to make it as secret, you can select this, check this option and give a ID. If you don't give a ID, it will automatically create. So what happens? An internally unique ID by which these credentials are identified from jobs and other configuration. Normally left blank in, in which case an ID will be generated. That means it will be auto-generated. It will be an hash ID, alphanumerical hash ID, which will be automatically generated. And it will be very big to remember. Better you give your own unique ID. Suppose you can just give this as it is for commercial uh, Tomcat server. You can give us Tomcat commerce, commercial, something like this. You can give it Tomcat commercial, something you just give it and description. Give something some same description I give. Okay. Got it? Now create. Now we can see here our Tomcat commercial, the ID, the credential ID is this Tomcat commercial, which is created. And here you can see the name, Tomcat from the username and the passwords, everything is in username with password. And you can see here the descriptions. If you want to hide the username also, you can go ahead and use this one, treat username as secret. Got it? Save it. Now, if I go here, see the Tomcat commercial, this totally is hidden now. Can you see? You can see only the ID name or the description here. You don't see the username and pass uh, on the string, right? It is hidden now. So <clears throat> you can use this particular thing here. Now, how will you use in your job? How you will use in your job? Now, let me go ahead to one of the job here. Okay. 
suppose um, I have this shop, right? Plugin web app. And let me just uh, go and modify this. So if I see here, uh, okay, it is uh, given as the Jenkins file. It is written in the Jenkins file and in this feature. Okay, this one I'll come just later. Let me first go with the freestyle job setups, okay? And then I'll come to the pipeline one. So uh, let's go to the uh, Java project, right? Which was my Java project. We can go here, okay? Now let's configure here. In our last project, we had created this, right? Uh, now if I go here, and uh, set up just go go below and we have uh, this container right and to deploy the war or yet to a container and here we have to provide the credentials for the tomcat server credentials this is the staging server right now i just want this to be uploaded to the or just want to deploy to the commercial tomcat server a uh, financial applications tomcat server commercial application server Select it, select it. Now you can save. So what happened? This server will be connected with these credentials provided. Got my point, guys? This is for the manual and this is how we have to set off in the freestyle. Now save it. Let's go ahead and I'll show you in the pipeline way how we can do the setups so if i go to the other job right this login web app project and here if i just go to the configure i'll see here we have the jenkins file for the pipeline which you have to modify so i have this pipeline uh, project as uh, called feature ansible 1.1 right so what i can do here just go to the github And if I just go to the project, right? Uh, let's go to my repository here. Repositories. Where it is? It's login web off. Okay. This is the project. This is the project. And the branch we had selected it as feature ansible 1.1. Select this one. And we have this Jenkins file. And then in this Jenkins file, we have this post like after this we can just archive the file, something is there. Now, what do we have to do? We need this to be deployed to the production, right? I can add another stage to deploy this into the productions. So what I can do, just click it here, edit. I'll show you um, these things when we go for the pipeline. For now, timing, you see how we can use this one, okay? Now let's go ahead, add one more stage here. Suppose I'll add it as deploy, something like this. And you have to provide the command here. You have to provide the command. So how will generate this command? I'll show you here. I will generate it. So if you see here, we have the pipeline syntax of this one. Click on this and so what do we need? We need this to be uploaded to the Tomcat server, right? So what is that one? So we have to deploy the war to a container, right? So we have to deploy, select the simple step, deploy war or ER to a container, give the war or ER file name. So for in our case, it is suppose you have to give star dot war file, context path, leave it as it is, container, select what is the container. So for our case, it is Tomcat 7. Okay, select the credentials, right? Suppose Tomcat commercial app and the Tomcat URL. I will just give a dummy URL. Okay, this is the Tomcat URL. Okay, that's all. You have to simply just select this one. And now you can see here the credential. I'm just selecting the ID here. I'm just selecting the ID here. Okay, the name or the ID. Now, if I just go ahead and generate pipeline script here, you can see here the credential ID. The credential ID is Tomcat commercial app. Now just copy this entire code here. Okay. What do you have to do? You have to paste it 
here. Deploy directly this one. This is the stage you have to add it here. This is how you have to write it. Now, once you add and save this one, what will happen if I go ahead and save this one, then start building the job. So what will happen? It will build the job and based on the credentials, it will connect to the Tomcat server and deploy the applications. Hope you understand clearly, right? This is how it works.